Hi friends, it's Penny Wolf and I was um, doing a haul video for you today and today I was going to do women's plus size clothing and um, I have some neat items to show you. Um, most all these items I have purchased for a dollar with a few exceptions and um, <clears throat> they were from the Salvation Army weekend 5 for 5 dollar sale or some of them were from Goodwill where I did either pay half off or I paid full price and I'll indicate that per item. Anyhow, let's get started with the haul. The first item, um, oh I was going to mention some of these items were have been on some of my other um, haul videos. Um, there is a few items here or there uh, that I just hadn't got listed yet, but since they were plus sizes, I wanted to include them with this plus size haul. This first item is a Vince Camuto, and I don't usually always pick up this brand if it's used, um, although you could, but this was very pretty. It's kind of like a layered top, but it's brand new with tags. It doesn't have how much it retailed for or the manufacturer suggested retail price. However, it's a 1X, and I thought, well, yes, we'll for sure pick this up, and um, I got this um, for a dollar, and um, this should sell for maybe around 38 I looked up comps on most all I looked up comps on all of these and I'll start there sometimes I run sales a lot of times I run sales but when the items are new I'll wait and um, you know leave them listed for a little while and, and see you know if they get any attention or traction there anyhow Vince Camuto is that item this next item is a uh, logo by Lori Go <laughs> Oh man, logo by Lori Goldstein. And um, you know, I think some of the items used to move a little bit quicker with this line um, if you're in the regular sizes. However, the plus sizes they seem to move really quickly. I had one uh, listed and it sold um, a couple weeks ago. And I think I had it listed for maybe a week, if that, and it sold for around twenty dollars. But it was a plus size. Plus size clothing um, does seem to move um, pretty nicely, um, you know, because the average woman isn't real tiny, um, you know, and um, people like to be comfortable in their clothes. And um, anyhow, we have some really cute styles to show with the plus size clothing. And plus size clothing, sometimes it's harder to find, you know, you don't have always the options, you know, um, that maybe you'd have in some of the other um, sizes. And um, anyhow, it does seem to move pretty nicely. This is a logo, and this is a 2X, and it's a tunic. Super cute purple. Purple is a very popular color, I find. When you uh, talk to people, just in, oops, in general, um, purple seems to be popular with men and women. However, I like to pick up purple pieces because I think, um, I haven't really studied it to see if they move quicker, but I figure, you know, people really like purple. However, I guess they have to de uh, decide whether they like purple on them or not. Some people's coloring works nicer with purple than others. However, this I looked up should sell for around $28. The next item I picked up is a pure Jill. I don't pick up a lot of pure, pure or Jill or J Jill or pure Jill, um, which I've mentioned before in my videos. However, eBay does um, rank it in like the top five when you look for searchable brands. It, it has. I haven't checked lately. Anyhow, but this is a. I even have my glasses on, and that that tag is super tiny. It's a 2X, and this is a linen blend, and it's a button long sleeve blue, and it's kind of textured. I did look um, look up comps. There was another one that sold that was just like it, and um, this um, should sell hopefully for around $32.97. And this I did pay full price. I would have paid um, Goodwill's um, full prices. I think it's. It was four twenty nine. I think it's still there. On that logo, same thing. That I paid the four twenty nine, the full price on that last item. This next item I pick up, picked up, and it's a chaps. And some people say, "Well, you know, how come you picked up that item?" And the reason is, is um, I personally really like neon, as you can probably tell because I have a neon sweatshirt on. I love neon. However, it is paisley. And um, I really like the shirt. I think it's beautiful, but it's a 3X. And um, it's a cotton shirt, and it's really nice. I really like this. It would go with a lot of I, um, outfits. And um, this here um, should sell maybe for around $24. 
And this item also I would have paid the $4.29 for. This next item is an L.L. Bean. And um, I probably wouldn't pick up an L.L. Bean in the smaller sizes, although you could. I haven't really checked comps on that. However, this is a 3X. It's very, very soft. It's that, um, it's that Supra, or Supri, oh, I really messed it up. Supima Cotton. And anyhow, it's very, very soft. And supposedly people do look for that. Anyhow, I did look up comps. Once again, it is purple and it should sell for around $15. I probably overpaid for this because I paid regular price for $29. However, that would still be at least doubling, almost, you know, tripling the money for it. The next item that I have is a bra and um it's very nice it's a black bra and it seems like the largest sizes um you know do sell really nice uh they move a little quicker however i think some of the smaller sizes do too it just depends on the brand but this is brand new with tags it's a cliche and um it's very very nice it's the um invisible back smoother and um it's lightly lined fully full coverage and it had a retail per or, suggest a retail price of $58.95. This is a 40F and um, I did look up some comps on this and one sold for around $53. Other ones did not sell for that much. It just is going to depend probably. I'll start it, you know, maybe around $49 and then go from there. Like I said, I run sales and I, I have um, best offer on all of the items too. And uh, now with the new feature, which I really like with eBay, is that you can send out offers on Posh because I sell on both. And this will be listed on um, both platforms. Um, you know, it's very nice, you know, if people like it, then you can send offers. This is cliche. And it was 53 and we'll see how that does but it's a beautiful bra the next item is a dress I don't you know for a while there I picked up a lot of dresses in the plus sizes however it seems like they don't move as quick at least they haven't for me but I do pick up some and um, this is beautiful I really like this dress I think it's very pretty it is a you know it's kind of like a wrap dress and uh this is a 2x it's the the millie gabriel and i know i probably don't have that pronounced right i don't pronounce things real great however i did look this up and maybe around 24 dollars i will list it as a print dress um i put false wrap in there and um we'll see how that does this i paid a dollar man i read i need to redo my fingernails I usually keep up my fingernails, uh, but I just noticed that they need to be redone. Anyhow, the next item is a chaps, and this is brand new with tags. And this I did pay the $4.29, and um, it's a v-neck, and it's a paisley. It's very, very nice. And, um, you know, chaps isn't a brand that I would pick up a lot of in, like, the smaller sizes, depending on what it is, though. But paisley always does seem to move pretty good, along with polka dots, and I've mentioned that before in the other videos. This is a 3X, but it's brand new with tags. This was $85 new. Anyhow, but when I looked up the comps... 25 to 35 however this is a winter sweater and the comps i don't know how far you know they go back they go and if it's just been the last you know several months you're not selling maybe as many sweaters i will try to list this a little bit higher first and then go from there but still if you get 25 or 35 i'd be very happy with that it's chaps and brand new with tags The next item that I have is a, um, <laughs> I was trying to, I swear, I have the carnigan that matches this, and I was just trying to find it, and I can't find it. I even looked to see if I somehow ended up listing the carnigan and forgot to include the shell. However, I think I have a matching cardigan for this, but it's a silk blend. Very nice. It's very soft. And this is a 1X. 1X is kind of a hard size. I don't pick up a lot of 1X. Some people may, but what I find is um, 
like the extra large seems to move easier sometimes in like the the 2x but 1x it seems like i don't know me i don't know if a lot of people aren't that size or maybe they consider it a xl i do not know or 2xl it's probably close to around that but the 1x i kind of watch what i purchase there however look up comps because it may be different for you um anyhow um i did look up comps on this and i looked up just the shell in case i can't find the other uh, swear that goes to it and it would sell for $15. I got it for a dollar. Hopefully I can find the matching garnigan. I didn't look up the two together because I don't know where the carnigan's at, but I will if I find it. Very soft. This next item um, that I have is a Talbot's and it's kind of like a three quarter sleeve or long sleeve. I think it's more of a three quarter sleeve um, like tee, um, but it's the Pima cotton. And, um, you know, like once again, sometimes people look for that. This is a 2X. I paid a dollar for this, and it might sell for around maybe $19. At least we'll start there. I'll start there with it. Talbots. And the next item is a Talbots 2. I love this color. This is like one of my favorite colors. This in um, like a, a cobalt or a royal blue. But this pink, fuchsia pink. I love fuchsia pink. Anyhow. It's got the little ruffle on the bottom. I usually classify these as a pea plum. Anyhow, it's a very, I'll probably put both. I'll probably put pea plum and then I'll put um, three quarter sleeve, uh, maybe like ruffle or ruffle bottom. It's really cute. It has a zipper and a really, really pretty condition. And I looked it up, maybe $19, but it's super cute. That's Talbot's. And, uh, yeah, that's that's a, cot, a cotton. This haul wasn't quite as long. Um, lately, on a couple of my thrifts, for some reason, I've been thrifting more in, um, in just like the regular size clothing. Usually, I pick up a lot of plus size. I've always um, been a plus size seller, and um, the items um, seem to move pretty nicely, and I enjoy that. I, I like to be able to put, you know, it's neat if you can put items out there that maybe people are looking for, um, you know, that maybe aren't seeing cute styles or things in, in the stores. And, uh, you know, not everybody likes to go and try on clothing, you know, whether it's at a new store or Salvation Army or Goodwill. Um, and it don't matter what size you are. A lot of people like to order online because they don't like to try on clothes. It doesn't bother me to try on clothes. I like it, but however, a lot of people don't. But I very, I, I really don't try on any clothes at Goodwill and Salvation Army unless I put it over my clothes because most of the time it's really cheap anyways. You know, unless it's something, you know, I really like or it's, you know, for more money, I mean. Um, but, you know, coats and stuff I'll put on. But, um, and it is fine, you know, trying on clothes. It's just that I usually, I don't know, even in regular stores, I don't like to take the time. And I know that sounds silly. But, anyhow, I hope that you've enjoyed the haul. I will be having some more haul videos. And also, along the way, I'll be having some sold videos too. But I know when I watch other resellers, um, I like to really watch the sold videos and the haul videos. Because the haul videos, you know, it gives you some ideas. They give you little pointers that they've learned along the way. And I try to add, you know, content of things that I've learned along the way. I've been selling um, since right around 2015. Started out very part-time and then kind of scaled it up. And now starting to scale it up even more. Um, but, you know, the opportunity is there. A big key, you got to list every day. And the more you list, the more you sell. I don't know. Can't explain it. But that kind of is how it goes. You want to show activity. And sometimes I'll sell off items just to get items to move because they've sat too long. And that actually is a benefit to your account because it gets the, um, you know, showing more activity in your account. And a lot of times they say that will generate sales too. But anyhow, if you could either leave a comment or push the like button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, just to let know that, you know, maybe somebody has um, enjoyed watching the video or got some content out of it. Anyhow, have a really great day and have a blessed day.